best way that I know how to decompress is to spend time on the beach, whether it's walking on the beach or sitting on the beach. I just love coming here to clear my head. There's surfers today, so that's really cool. So I'm just gonna watch some surfing, I guess. I really love being alone. I feel like that's kind of weird to say, but I really love it. I think it's the most peaceful thing. Everything just moves at a slower pace and I don't feel like this pressure to do more or to fit in with what everybody else wants to do. I just love hanging out by myself. I've spent a lot more time alone these last couple months. It's taught me a lot about who I am and what I like and what I don't like, where I like to be, what brings me peace. I'm kind of reveling in it. <laughs> I really, really enjoy it. I was always one of those people that was chasing after like what the trends are and like what the popular thing is to do. And I've just now gotten to the point where I'm comfortable doing what it is that I like, even if it's not the most popular thing. It's kind of nice. I love sitting on the floor and I love the sun in my face, so don't judge me if it looks like I'm going blind. I used to convince myself a lot that I needed to be productive and I needed to be going out and doing something and I needed to be with people. Every time I did that to myself, I found myself getting into these really bad habits, spending money when I didn't need to spend money and like just buying things, just to buy stuff. Going out meant going shopping or buying myself meals, which is fine. Like I, I, I think that's fine to do, like treat yourself whenever you want, but like for me personally, I'm happier and I feel more comfortable when I'm home. I have so many hobbies that I've always had growing up. I consider myself an artist, very much so. I love to draw, I love to paint, I love to just create. Being at home allows me to create whatever I want. It's a representation of me, it's a reflection of me. And I think that being home just allows me to act on my creative impulses in a much better way than if I'm out just for the sake of being out. I love exploring, I love traveling, I love going out and seeing new things on my own terms, at my own pace. I love to drive around my town and I love to soak in the scenery that comes with living on the coast. I've always lived in the county that I live in, but I've never lived this close to the water. Soaking that in is something that I love to do every single day. A lot of times I prefer doing that by myself. I can just look for things that inspire me rather than look for things that I feel will allow me to fit in with other people which is just not my goal anymore. I've spent so much of my life trying to do the popular thing. Even in school, I was always trying to fit in with the popular crowd, even though it's just, it wasn't me. I loved being by myself back in high school. Like I just remember being in my room all the time, drawing and listening to music. I loved Lana Del Rey. I have her records behind me somewhere. I would just put her records on my record player and just draw all night. I loved just putting headphones in and listening to music and reading, but I felt like such an out outcast so the feelings of being an outcast overpowered doing what I love to do so I just kind of put those things aside and tried to fit in with the crowds at the end of the day like I just I never really felt like I fit in with anybody that I was surrounded by as I've gotten older those cycles have repeated I've gone through those things the last time I tried to do YouTube I've, I've deleted pretty much all of my videos because it was just like doing everything that everybody else was doing hauls and try-ons and let me take you out you know for getting coffee and going shopping look what I have that's what it felt like it was just like look what I have again that's not me and so even doing YouTube now is something where I'm like exploring this whole medium again. I just feel like I've done a lot of self-discovery, a lot of growing and a lot of healing and a lot of evolving in the last couple years. And I'm just kind of settling into what makes me happy. As a segue, one of the things that makes me the happiest is painting. And I have this painting right here and this little rock part is, it's been driving me nuts for the last couple days. So I think I'm gonna work on it and then I'll get into the next thing.
What I got done today was I darkened the rocks. It's supposed to be cliffs, obviously overlooking a body of water. So I am filling in some of the rocks and I'm trying to like place them on the sand. I'm also trying to fix the sand so that it gives a little bit of texture, especially because we have these cliffs right here and right here. So I'm just trying to make the colors different so that they look like different things. And this is just a really hard painting, but I am determined to make it the best that it can possibly be. This will probably be a work in progress for the next couple weeks at least. I think that's where I'm gonna end this one. Still working on what this channel is gonna look like. I really just want it to be like a reflection of where I'm at now, what my life looks like as I work through my own healing, you know, discover myself as I get older and as I evolve. I really think that I'm a work in progress, but I think that documenting it is a really cool way to see how far I've come as well as create art based on everything that comes with growing up and learning lessons. My whole thing is I love to take lessons and turn them into art. I think that having this channel is just gonna be sort of like the diary that is the story that narrates all of the changes that I either put in my art pieces or put in my website or put in my readings as I read for my collective because I really think that there are a lot of people that are just like me, whether that's close in age or on healing journeys of their own. I think the most important relationship that needs to be priority number one is the one with myself. Healed, authentic, honest. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. This is just the beginning of the channel. I also want to make sure that the people who follow along with me get answers to questions and can feel like they relate in some way. Questions about healing that you want me to answer or questions about shadow work, inner child work, and spirituality and stuff like that, I'm happy to answer. I'm gonna head out and I will see you in a couple days and I'll see you on TikTok in like five minutes. Okay.